Hey, Facebook, it is me again. And I really, really want to talk to you about something that's been on my heart, about something that's been on my mind, about something. Let me just share a little bit here to see who we can catch in the house. Um, let's see who we can catch today, Sunday evening. Most people are having their Sunday lunch and dinner and most people are busy doing other things and, you know, not on Facebook. So let me see who's around. Hey, hey, who is around? Hey, guys. I'm going to do this real quick because I'm a bit tired and I want to go and get an early night. So good evening, good evening. For those of us who don't know who I am, my name is Dr. Ava Eagle Brown. I'm your life and business strategist and I'm also a book coach. As a matter of fact, tomorrow I'm starting an exciting five-day book challenge. I'm going to be working with about 10 people to help them out of things. I don't believe it's about something that's really stuck with me. I've got music with sun and the hearts. Is this? Um, I can't see somebody from... I think it's my friend Poland. Thank you, Poland, in the house. How are you guys doing? And I took son to the museum yesterday because my five-year-old son is so much into animals and, and he can tell you every dinosaur. It was so embarrassing for me. Yesterday we were at the museum and he was telling me about this and that and pterosaurus and I have no clue. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't know what they are. But when I saw the butterfly and the cocoon, I could tell what that was. And I want to share that journey with you today. I want to talk to you about some of us who are in the cocoon stages of our lives, of our relationships, of our opportunities, of our chances. And um, we're sitting in that cocoon stage because we are afraid. We're sitting in that cocoon stage um, because we feel we want that cushion, like the umbilical cord or the amniotic sac, and we want to be cushioned. And so we are afraid to come out of that stage of the cocoon because we are afraid that we will fall or we will fail. And so many people do not get to experience greatness because they are in the comfort zone. They like, good to see you as well. How are you doing? Say, um, Gendobre, Jen Dobre, Jen Dobre. Um, I think that's the right word. Jen Dobre. Oh, I love Poland. Jen Dobre. Um, or Tak Tak. Oh, I didn't say that right. But that's what I was talking about. That so many of us want to sit in the cocoon stage because it's comfortable. We want to stay in that place because it makes us feel comfortable. It makes us feel safe. And so many of us, <laughs> Jen Dobre, thank you. <laughs> so many of us want to feel safe. And then we don't understand why is it that we are praying or why is it that we are putting in the work, but we are not receiving or reaping or harvesting. And I want to talk to somebody today to tell you that the only time you can start recognizing and realizing the true potential of your visions, your dreams, your hopes, your desires, your wants is when you come out of that cocoon, when you come out of that comfort zone, when you come out of that place where the umbilical sac is keeping you safe and warm. It's the only time that you are going to grow. So, so sitting in there like a baby, you see a baby cannot creep or crawl if the baby stays in the sack in the mother's womb. For that baby to walk, for that baby to talk, for that baby to even smile, and we can see this smile, the baby has to be out of that birth canal. And so a lot of us are stuck in the birth canal. We're stuck in the umbilical sac. We're stuck in, like, in the cocoon phases because we are afraid. And, what are we, and, and, and fear is real, you know. Fear is, is false evidence appearing real, okay. But for some people, it's real. And so what do we need to do to get ourselves to the next stage is the question. And that's what I want to address today. The fear, the sitting in that cocoon stage. Thank you, Caroline. That the, the being afraid to take that leap. So it's the second quarter, whether I want to be next week or next month, it's the second quarter of 2017. And I can tell you that many of us are sitting down having achieved nothing so far. We wrote the goals down December 31st, 2016. We talked about all that we desire, want, and need. We, we made a big hurrah, but nothing happened. Can you please share this Facebook Live? Invite your friends to come over. There must be somebody who needs to hear this word. 
And so we all had those goals written down. We all had those dreams written down. We were so sure that by this time in 2017, we would be on our way. But are we really? Are we really on our way? Because I tell you something, I talk to people every day and there are so many people who are telling me, but I'm scared, but I don't know where to go. But I, but, but, but and I hear that. And Carly, you know, my favorite shoulda, woulda, coulda phrase. All I hear, I want to, I don't know. And, you, and, and you're even stuttering because you allow fear to cripple you. You want to stay in that sack, that cocoon that makes you feel warm, that makes you feel safe, that makes you feel protected. And then you expect to succeed. So let me ask you this question. How are you going to succeed when you're in comfort zone? How are you going to succeed when you're in the umbilical sack? In the, in the um, um, whatever it's called, amniotic fluid. See how long I've had a baby? How are you going to succeed when you're still in the cocoon? Because the butterfly can't fly if it stays in the cocoon. It's got to decide to come out, okay? So, so you don't want to come out because you're afraid that you'll fail. But let me ask you this question. What if when you come out, instead of failing or falling, you flutter? What if you flutter? You see, Steve Harvey says, and I, I, the first day I heard this, it did something to me. He said, if you're, if you do not jump, your parachute will never open. I'm going to repeat that. If you do not jump, your parachute will never open. Now, when you jump, your parachute's not going to open straight up. And that's what he tells you. But eventually it will open. Look at the butterfly. When it comes out of that cocoon stage, it doesn't just get up and start flying with the strongest of wings. It might even flutter a bit. But give it a day or two, and that butterfly is as strong as ever. When the baby comes out of that birth canal or whether cesarean section or whatever, and, and it does its first cry, it might not be the strongest cry, but the baby cries. Give it seven days and you can't sleep. That's because it had to go through that process. It had to come out. And in the same way, I'm encouraging you guys to stop sitting in the cocoon. Stop sitting in the am amniotic fluid. Stop waiting on the umbilical cord to feed you. Stop having those dreams, those desires, those business ideas, those books in your gut, those relationships that you know need to go to another level. Stop being afraid of fear. Come out of the, the cocoon and start living your life. Stop allowing fear to cripple you. You know, I look at my life today and I, I, I have to shake my head because... When I looked at, I, I did something yesterday on Facebook and I, I was sharing all the magazines and, and the press and that's not even all that I've been on. So I've been on the BBC, I've been on LBC, I've been in the Financial Times, I've been in the Guardian, I've been in the Voice, I've been on Power 106, I've been on TVJ and I could go on and on and on. Tomorrow I'm on radio in the US and, and, and my, my interviewer is an Emmy Award television presenter who happens to be the lady who did the forward for the mango girl. She's a big deal. But I had to jump. I'm going to see Steve Harvey in a few days. I had to jump. I had to come out of my cocoon. Now, now when you come out of the cocoon, a lot of things will be imperfect. I want you to get that. You are going to do things wrong. You're going to make mistakes. <laughs> you are going to fail, but fail forward. You are going to fall, but fall on your back. You know, things are not going to be perfect. They never will be. But are you going to let that stop you from coming out of the cocoon? Are you going to sit in the cocoon because you're afraid that you're going to fail? What if you flutter? What if you fly? And so as you go through this week, enter in the second quarter of the year, I want to encourage, implore, and, and really advise you to take a good step back and have a good inventory, have a good think about all the things that you desire, want, and need, all the things you want to do, and how you've become very complacent, and, and how you've allowed fear to, to keep you hostage. And, and I want you to start thinking about becoming more unapologetic about your desires, your wants, your must-haves for 2017. Because let me tell you something. In exactly three months time or four months time, we're going to be in Q3 
the third quarter of the year. And when I work in corporate, the third quarter was the end. It, you know, it, it was that time when your boss would tell you that, come on, come on, come on. We have to get our numbers right, numbers right, numbers right. The numbers need to be right because December is coming and that's it. I'm going to scare you because I want you to come out. In four months time, April, May, June, July, August, Harrods will start putting Christmas decorations out. By summertime, some stores will start trimming the Christmas tree. It means that 2018 is on the horizon. Love it or hate it. Close your ears if you don't want to hear it. And so my question for you is, what are you going to do to fix coming out of the cocoon? What are you going to do to make sure that you are out of the cocoon stage? And I'm going to leave you with that question because only you can decide. But whatever you decide, understand that you have got to change something, do something differently because you cannot continue down this path of sitting there waiting to become, to, to give birth to something. You know, babies that are overdue will be sick or they might even die. And your dreams may die in that cocoon stage. If a baby is overdue, there's a risk of it dying. And so emergency cesarean section happens. I had I'd gone through that myself twice, so I know. So if your baby is overdue, your dreams are overdue, your business is overdue, your book is overdue, what are you waiting for? To give birth. Why are you holding on to an umbilical cord that's about to become dry? You need to wake up. Get up and start understanding that it's never going to be perfect. Don't let anybody on Facebook fool you. It's not perfect, but it's worth it. And so the same way my dreams are coming to fruition and they, they didn't come overnight, but they are coming to fruition. I know yours can too. And I'd love to help some of you realize your dreams. I've got free discovery calls in my diary. I'm not charging you for them. They're free. I want to talk to you one-on-one -on -one, privately, just me and you, so you can pour into me and tell me exactly how can I serve you. The call might end with me giving you ideas that you just go away and do it yourself, or who knows, it might be that I need to hold your hand, but you never know until you have that conversation. So I'm going to drop my, 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 my email under here so you can actually come on. Hi, Kerry. You can come on to my diary and let us have that conversation. Email us, let us do the diary so that we can see how we can help you come out of the stage. So, until next time, Scott E. Brown and Dr. Commander for an amazing event and for Purpose Walk. Purpose Walk, um, um, early bird tickets are going to be ending in exactly four days, the 31st of, of March. And the early bird tickets are $19.99. They're filling this month. Now that it's £27. Pounds. So, you will get Purpose Walk where our keynote speaker is a former guest of Oprah Winfrey. We have several other keynotes. Please come on. And starting the 4th of February of, of April, we're going to have a Purpose Party Power Week where we're going to have seven days of great content from some of the speakers who are going to be making Purpose Work the phenomenal event of the year. And it's going to be a free event. Watch for this space. And when you do see the, 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 the post, share, tag, invite your friends along because I can't wait to see how Purpose Walk is going to serve you come out of the cocoon. Until later, it's Ava. Have a great week, an amazing week, affirming that I am coming out of the cocoon. I'm going to give up the umbilical cord, the amniotic fluid. I'm going to give birth. I'm going to push through the birth canal and have my dreams become reality. And so what if I flutter? What if I don't fall? And so what if I even fall? Because you see, sometimes when you fall, it's when you learn the lessons. So have a great week. See you later. It's Ava Eagle Brown saying, I am here to serve you. But more importantly, I want you to come out of the cocoon. Have a great one. Watch the replay, guys. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.